All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are welcome back to MC Potoski Talk Show here on YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to your time. Zoom, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are welcome back to this great platform where we react to all videos that comes our way and bring you guys the latest happenings around the world, Nigeria in general. If you're first on this great platform, please consider to subscribe and also put on chomper ladies and gentlemen i bring you guys latest happening today so guys i'm going to leave the video to play so that you guys can still watch the video and also drop your comments at the comment section what you think about this video and you don't have to be scared because everybody is entitled to his or her own opinion umuchineke Kain Gawa. Greetings, dear friends. Greetings, lovers of freedom. The video you are about to watch here, or the video you are seeing on the screen, this is the deputy governor of Lagos State. And in this video, you can see him defending MC Olomo, who threatened the Igbos residing in Lagos. And here, he is not trying to tell you that MC Olomo did not actually threaten the Igbos. Rather, MC Olomo is now is, uh, is discussing with one person. Now, the question was given to him directly. Are you calling for the arrest of MC Olomo? He said no. He is not calling for the arrest of anybody. Now, if it brings this case to the East, Igbo land. You will see the whole governors telling you, arrest him, arrest him. They will go and arrest the person. Now you see how other people are protecting their, their brothers and sisters. Now, I want you people to know, when MC Olomo make that very threat, he did not make it be, uh, on, within his own power. He made that very threat because he knows the people behind him. He knows that the governors and the Yoruba elite are solidly behind him. The Yorubas, the, 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 the leaders of uh, Yorubas made that very statement through MC Olomo, which the Igbos refused to understand. Now, it's only the Igbos that is condemning or talking about that very threat. Have you seen a Fulani man or a Northern person condemning that very act of MC Olomo? You can never see it. But if it was to be not, you will see all the Igbos calling, carrying the issue on their head like Gala. You see how these people are doing things. They protect their own. They make sure that their own can never suffer for any atrocities committed to other tribes. Their own can be arrested when the crime is, is, uh, is being committed among themselves. But if it will be Igbos, no, it will be, uh, let's forget about it. After all, they are Nyamiri. Now, without wasting, uh, uh, without taking much of your time, let us hear the man direct and the questions. You will see the kind of lies this man is blowing here. Very, very unfortunate that our people can never learn a lesson. Everything this man said here, to everything he's saying here is in defense of MC Olomo. And today, the threat MC Olomo carried out uh, said he is now they are now fulfilling it balogu market number 32 was on fire today and the other markets of Igbo shops have been burned down just immediately after the election because Igbos voted for for their own candidates and today that is the result of what you are seeing with let me play the video so that you will hear it once again my name is MAP. Stay tuned for more videos because in this platform, we set the record straight. We are not biased. Thank you and remember this. You have said that anybody who, the, who does that should be, you know, should be made to. Yeah, I just wanted to know, you have said that anybody who, the, who does that should be, you know, should be made to pay for it. Are you thereby calling for the arrest of uh, Mr. MC Oluomo? Well, I'm not calling for arrest of anybody. You know, yes. I'm not a police officer. I'm not a prosecutor. People will look at the evidence. And, you know, 
in case of he has come out to say that he was Imagine. actually referring to one woman that is uh, Mama Chinedu or something like that. See it. So there is a video that Chine. shows that. It's and like that woman said, well, she, he was talking to me this and that uh, we've been friends or my, uh, he, he's been my uh, customer for years that he was talking to her. So, uh, I mean, so I don't know. I don't know the facts. I don't know the facts. So, but people should examine the facts and if in truth, he has broken the law. Of course, he must pay for it. It's as simple as ABC. So it's not, but my point, my point, which I want to make, because we all diminish this country when we, when we actually oh, exaggerate what happens. That's my point. My point is that you have an election where you have this number of polling units and you have less than 1% mm -hmm. that has a problem. And we now make it look as if that 1% is more important than 99%. I think that's just outrageous. Okay, well, and we should not diminish our country mm. and say the election is bad. No, no. This is a great election. Yes, elections. Atrocities were committed and yes. people should pay for Elections them. have come and, and gone. Yes, and been. all kinds of uh, politicians are not just going to go away. But governance never stopped. Absolutely. I saw the statement that you, you put out as so many people have also seen it as advocating for peace and all of that. But it has to go beyond talk, Dr. Hamzat. What will the government be doing in terms of communicating with people to ensure that we all continue to live in peace and harmony so that the progress and development that we have worked, all worked for doesn't go up in flames. Well, I mean, I think if you listen to the acceptance speech of Mr. Governor, you will actually also see that night, where he said that's not the people we have. It's not about violence. It's not about ethnic bigotry. It's yeah, not about... My apologies. That's talk. Yeah. What's the action government... Well, taking? I mean, so the, the reality is that's the way we've been ruling for four years. Or that's the way we've been ruling this state for 19 years. That's why we have Igbos as commissioners. Well, that's why we have Igbos. That doesn't happen in other parts of the world or in other parts of our country. So that's why we engage with people. That's why there are Seriki Aousa in all communities in Lagos. That's why there are Igwes in Lagos. You understand? That doesn't happen in other communities or in other states. So that's why they are, they are a part of the involvement of everything. That's why we have, in each natural district, that's where we have consultative forums of different ethnic groups. The same thing with religion. That's why we have uh, Nasrek. That's Muslim and Christian community across, the, across our, our local governments. So that's why we have different sectors, religion, ethnicity in Lagos that we talk to based on religion, based on... The, so that's something that we've been doing. But I'm saying that there will be people that we always try to you know, break the rules. We must punish them. The moment you punish them, it's about deterrence to order to say no this is not the way for us to go well there's so much to discuss with you dr Ansad, but we're completely out of time oh. already let's just hope that one of these days we can bring you back now do you hear that before he said that it's only lagos that they have other people coming there to win election at their state a yoruba man win house of assembly and he, he was celebrated by the Igbos. he was not castigated nor any yoruba person threatening him because we see all everybody as one, and the, the, the result is our punishment. Now, if you say if any person commit this crime, the person should be punished. The same thing MC Olomo said in every pool unit, we saw them, even one of the actress, uh, Choma Chukoka Opanta, was almost killed, and she ran away because of she wanted to vote for her own choice of candidate so in lagos it's not just one part uh, one percent rather it's more than 50 percent that as they carry out their threat what of the 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 one that they're threatening in 18 or so? have they arrested him if mc olomo own is just a, a a joke what of the one that threatened the Igbos in etiosa local government of lagos and they carried where choma chukoka I posted the video. So, my Mr. Man, say the truth so that God will save you. Igbos, know, know it that these people always protect their own. These people always protect their own. I have said it. If you like, use your brain. If you like, don't use your brain. Yoruba people don't love Igbos. Look at a uh, uh, deputy governor-elect. Cannot call for arrest of somebody who carry out a threat and they fulfill it. Not just a threat. He he threatened and they carry out his threat today. 
or is Igbo market not born, uh, born down? Are they not burning Igbo market? Are they not destroying many Igbo traders? What are you telling me? I don't want to get angry, but let this man know the truth. Thank you, and remember bless. What's Thank you for watching that video. We appreciate, and this is where I'll be leaving you guys. But if this is your first time on this great channel, please do it to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that whenever we upload any video for this great channel, you will be the first person to see the video. So guys, see you guys some other time.